our day with his Caribbean chicken recipe. Please welcome Chef Tino Feliciano. Tino! We're so happy to have you here. Welcome. Yes. Yes. And first of all, you're from Puerto Rico. Yes. How's your family doing? They're blessed. They're, thank God everything is good. We're out of the storm. We're getting things together. We're getting back on our feet. Puerto nice. Rico is an incredible place. I've been a few times yeah. and I just love it. Great people, great food. Yeah. And, you know, we all are. Open. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You, you, you hit the nail on the head right there. Great people, great food. Oh, yeah. And what's better than to take your mind off of things than like a, a nice plate amongst family and friends? So we're so happy that you're here to share with us, um, like you do with your family in Puerto Rico. Definitely. What are you making for us today? It's so colorful. Okay, so we're going to do a chicken sofrito. It's In, in English, it's just like a citrus uh, cilantro marinade. Okay. But this is basically the base of a Puerto Rican cuisine, which is sofrito. It's uh, cilantro, some garlic, some onions, some oil. In this case, we're going to add adobo. You know what adobo oh, is, right? Yes. yes. Adobo is just a dry, Puerto Rican dry seasoning. I think every country has their own little adobo type of thing. But this is just different types of dry seasonings, and it just gives that nice little Puerto Rican flavor to everything. You put this on pork, you got the pernil. You put it on the turkey and, and Thanksgiving, and it's great. So we're going to do that, all that together, and... Choppy chop. We're going to do it with some vegetables. We're going to just saute some beautiful vegetables, peppers, onions, and some eggplant. Done. So we're going to just grab some cilantro. We're going to leave a few of the leaves for our chimichurri later on, which is not Puerto Rican, but hey. Hey. It happens. It is what it is. Yeah. So, and I like that you're using the stems. There's so much flavor in there, and if you're cooking with them, people, use them. People don't understand. They, they want to use just the leaves of the cilantro, but if you taste the leaf and you taste the stem, the flavor's in the stem, all the way down to the actual root. Mm -hmm. Just wash it up, cut as little as possible, and just put it in there. And that's where the, because if you just put this in there, the leaf is going to be green, beautiful, but not a lot of flavor. Yeah, for so, a marinade, that stem. A lot of garlic. Oh, yeah. They have red onions in there, too? Red onions, cilantro with the stems, some garlic, and then we're just going to eyeball a little bit of adobo. You want to make it a little more uh, salty or spicy than usual. So we're not going to put lime juice in this. We're going to use that later on. What kind of oil do you use in that? Canola oil. Canola. So we're just going to blend this until it becomes a nice paste, like a pesto. So yeah, you can look at it as a Puerto Rican pesto, I guess. There you go. But without the nuts. And you want to make sure that, like that, high. And when you Smells taste fresh. it, when you taste it, here, give it a little taste in there. So you can see. Okay? We're all friends and family here. We're all, that's how we do it in Puerto Rico. Here, you call out, mira, venga acá, prueba de este momentito. Mira acá, taste it. You know, that's how Ooh, we do it. there's garlic in there. Oh, yeah, because you want that bold Whoa. flavor. So what you're going to do, you're going to put it in a nice little zippy bag right here. You're going to grab your chicken, and you're going to, this is, okay, you're going to just place your breast in there. Make sure you fold it. You don't want all that contamination outside the chicken. So we're just gonna put those chicken breasts in there. And now comes the good part, massaging the chicken. Yes. yes. So you all know how to massage a chicken or massage a piece of meat? Hey, why don't you get that? There you go. So, I think it's important to massage the chicken when you have the marinade, especially if you don't have a lot of time. True. Uh, exactly. You, you get that, you know, penetration. You can actually use this. I like to do it for 24 hours. You could do it for two hours, but if you're in a hurry, hey, what the heck, just massage it real nice. Work it around a little bit. And Look at that. put it in the fridge. And after, in my case, 24 hours, this is what you're gonna have. Oh, man. Ooh, vibrant, vibrant. Like, vibrant. Yeah. vibrant. Beautiful. The fact that it doesn't have no citrus in the marinade is not gonna bring the color down. Yeah. It's gonna get brighter and brighter. So here, what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna grab our tongs and we're just gonna put some grill marks on it. And you wanna hear that sizzle, because if you don't have that sizzle, you're not gonna have the marks. Beautiful. And you wanna leave all that marinade, because what you're gonna do is you're gonna grill them lightly for a few minutes on each side, just to give it that nice smoky grill mark. And then you're gonna finish it in the oven with those beautiful vegetables. And you're gonna have the most tender, juicy, delicious, Pollo? Chicken, pollo. Ah! Pollo, chiquita de pollo. <laughs> Chicken is, could be sometimes more. You just like roast it or you fry it. In this case, you grill it, but with all this cilantro marinade on top, 
you're gonna feel like if you're walking down a beach in Puerto Rico or some tropical island. That's and the it's idea. Gonna, and now, you know, it's nice and cold still outside, but you're tired, you know, you got this little gut going on here because <laughs> of all that heavy food you've been eating for <laughs> during Christmas. You wanna bring, bring it down, but it's still homey, it's still comforting, and you just could take a bite, close your eyes, and imagine you're somewhere, wherever, whatever makes yep. you happy. Whisk you know? the way. Ah. So, the next thing we're gonna do is our vegetables. All right. A little bit of oil. <laughs> What would you say is your favorite Puerto Rican dish? Ay, Padre Santo. That's, oh, that's, that's a lot, right? Yeah, I like that, too. That's my favorite. There's <laughs> 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 uh, so much it's to choose from. Anything, you know, rice and beans. You know, we love our oh, rice and beans. I can totally tear up some rice and beans. But what we're going to do is we have the vegetables there. Uh, you got a, sp a spoon around there? Sure. It's going to be 30 seconds, what we're going to do here. There we go. Uh -huh. We're not going to cook them too long, because we're going to throw this in the oven with the chicken breast on top. Once they're nice and grilled, because we want to roast them down a little bit. Yeah. But then you got the peppers there, you got the onions, you got some beautiful tomatoes there. So we're just gonna, beautiful colors, that's all you want. A little bit of salt, obviously, and a little bit of black pepper. I love black pepper on everything I cook. Mm. <laughs> so now, hopefully, this chicken will, oh yeah, there we go. It's just, Time find is, the hot spot. Yeah, there we go. Let's just, eh, it is what it is. There you go. It's beautiful. Look at we'll that. We'll just cover it with the vegetables and nobody will see it. <laughs> All right, so after this chicken is done, we're going to put it on top of the vegetables. Just like that, pan. you know. I, it's TV, you know. So yeah, we're just going to yeah. put them on top like that. It's going to cook in the oven. It's going to take like 10 to 12 minutes, depending on the thickness of the chicken. So we're just going to put that on top. We're going to add our lemon wedges. I mean, our, li our orange wedges on top. Citrus. Is that citrus? So I'm going to add a little lime juice. Wow. Wow, that's going to really give it a still. lot of flavor. No more salt, no more pepper. We're going to put it in the oven. And obviously, the magic of TV. Oh, you got to switch. Yeah, we have one Ooh. that we're doing. Oh, wow. Nice, you know, we have a nice plan, nice plan, nice plan. And here we have a chimichurri. It's basically cilantro and uh, pomegranate. pomegranate. There you Yum. Go. So wow. it's gonna give it that nice little crunch. I usually use red onions, but since we all want something a little more colorful, we have onions in here, some pomegranate, and a little bit of oil, and that's it. So Can't we wait have, to taste wow. this. Hopefully it will be good. You, I don't think it's not gonna be good. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, so let's flavor. move this one aside so we can grab some of those beautiful vegetables. My mouth is watering. Oh. My kidding. mouth is watering. I just got the Pavlov response. I, I, yeah. I love it when my mouth waters before I eat. That lets me know like it's literally eating with your eyes first. Like I'm that's, excited. That's one of the important things when we're cooking. We usually just throw everything in and just don't pay attention to how things look and how things smell. Yes. And this okay. is just, mm. look at that, look at that. So fragrant from. Mm. Yeah, and then that, those little red pomegranates, they're a little bitter, but they give it that little crunch. Mm. So it's just gonna be something real nice. And wow. Look like nothing out here. Yeah. Wow. This is wow. It's so easy to put together, and it looks so impressive. It, it's very easy, and you could do this, and, and I'm telling you, in a matter of 15 minutes, you can have a full meal, whether it's one chicken breast or a piece of pork or 15, it doesn't really matter. All it does is the prep, you know, just have, and whatever vegetables you want. I'm trying to get everything on the fork, but there's so many flavor profiles really. happening like here. That's what happens How to us Puerto Ricans. There's too much mm -hmm. going on. Nah. <laughs> How's the flavor? It's as colorful on your palate as it is on the plate. The pop of pomegranate is perfect. It's like the first pop that I had. Mm -hmm. And it released sweet and tart juices. The, the chicken is so, so, so juicy. Just really, really bright, and I do feel like I'm hanging out. Yeah. Take your, forget a staycation as soon as you can. Go on down and visit our friends in Puerto Rico. They are Americans. Thank you so much for coming and Thank hanging you. out with us. Delicious food. Thank you so much for sharing your story as well. We know it's very difficult. Uh, it's the flavors of Puerto Rico right here in the kitchen.